Hi everyone, welcome to the beginning of another new semester. I'm Mr. Watt, a visual art, media art, and design teacher, and curricular head for the new arts and culture department here at Meadowville Secondary School. First off, a little about me. I've been teaching art in high school for about 10 years, and I have an extensive background in studio art. I'm actually filming this inside my studio workshop where I produce my own pieces. In our classroom, we'll begin every class with a production meeting. This is something taken directly from industry and the arts, and if you get into the, into the arts professionally, you'll be doing this every day. So we'll do the same in class. Production meetings are where we discuss product details, timelines, homework, where we are headed in the course, and any challenges or difficulties we're having so we can find solutions together. These meetings are at the beginning of class, so it's important to be on time. If you miss one, be sure to find a partner in class that can help you get caught up. Attached on the same page as this video link is the course outline. Be sure to read it over. It's the roadmap to where we're going. This course has a final 30% summative project. And since the course is project based, the summative will be a larger uh, project that reflects that. There's no written exam for this course, although you may be required to do some writing for the project. This course has some materials that you must bring to class every single day. You'll need a sketchbook. It's up to you what that looks like. This is what mine looks like. Um, this is about as small as you want it to be. Eight and a half by 11 is kind of a better size. Uh, it's got heavy drawing paper in it um, and it's bound. Now, it can take different forms. You could actually use a binder, three ring binder, uh, with some, some writing paper and some drawing paper uh, put in there. That would work great. Um, you could also use sort of something you'd find in an art store. So like a, uh, like a drawing pad. Try and get one kind of this thickness or thicker so there's enough space for the entire course in there. Some students really like these because they can tear pages out um, if they make mistakes or, or, or whatever, which is a great option. Try to avoid something too small. So again, eight and a half by 11 is a good size. This is too small. So try and get something a little better. You need to bring good quality pencils to class. Um, an HB will do, if you know me, I'm a stickler for a certain brand. Um, what I mean by quality pencils, though, is a pencil that's able to hold a point. So that's really important. It's not going to be breaking all the time. Um, a wider range of drawing pencils would be even better, but that's up to you. But make sure, whatever you do, you buy an eraser that's separate. So trying to rely on this for the entire course isn't going to work. And we're going to, we're going to all make mistakes. So you want to make sure you have a way of erasing them and moving forward. We're going to be doing some computer work throughout the course. And you're going to need at least two different ways to save and back up your work. I recommend a cloud-based storage space. Um, it's your choice what you want to use, as well as a USB or portable hard drive. Two very different formats, so no matter what happens, you're able to access your work. We really want to avoid files being lost. Um, it's, your, it's really your responsibility to ensure you create backups, but uh, losing files without a backup isn't really a valid excuse. We're, it's the 21st century, right? This has happened to all of us, and it can be devastating. Let's be proactive about it and make sure we do things to ensure it doesn't happen to us. Finally, you need to bring to class an organizer. It could be a digital one, it could be a smaller paper calendar, whatever. I like a digital calendar, my phone, I use Google Calendar, it's great. It vibrates to remind me that I need to do something or be somewhere, um, but a paper one could work too. It's entirely up to you. Um, bottom line, it's a course requirement to have a way to organize yourself. Uh, as a high school student, make the mature decision to use something that keeps yourself organized. All course information will be posted on the course website. So this includes handouts, assignments, and any kind of timelines we're going to be working on. If you miss a class, be sure to ask the student what happened in class, because I'm not going to be recording the entire contents of every single class we do, uh, but the course website will have handouts and materials that you may need. Be sure to come to class ready to work in a kind of minds-on state. So what I mean by that is you're ready to actually learn and ready to uh, do and commit to doing things. So this can't be done with a head buried in a phone. I love technology and it's very important in my life, but I know when I need to be focused, I can't do two things at once and actually do them properly. So uh, we need to be in that state at all times, which means we're, we're managing our technology, but we're also managing things like food. So in a studio environment, I really can't be mowing down on this, drawing or working on a computer and also learning at the same time. It doesn't work. Uh, if it's an emergency uh, and you need to eat, there'll be a space provided by the door that you can do this. But otherwise, as a studio-based class, we're going to be making art. So it's really important that you come prepared every day to do so. This video is our course intro. 
And by watching this and reading the accompanying documents, you'll actually digitally unlock the rest of the course content. So take a few minutes to read the information, get familiar with the layout of the course, and then you'll be ready to get started. I'm really looking forward to seeing you and what you make in this class. We'll see you tomorrow when we dive right in.